Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. How's it going? Hey, listen. Hey, listen. So, it's Friday. And, uh... And it's on. Hey, Pixel Rabbit! Yo, 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 what's up? I don't, uh... I don't think I recognize your nickname. Pixel Rabbit. I think... Once you have unlurked and made yourself known, um, but uh, uh, Pixel Rabbit, no, that's a, that's a new face. Welcome, hey Yasuki, Sharta, how's it going? Ugh. Okay. I'm officially retiring war correspondent. I will not touch that again. Screw it. I'm good, thank you. Shout that. Hey, Colton Sam, how's it going? Yeah, I, th I thought so, Pixel Rabbit. I recognize it, but it was a while back. Hey, Kirathi. Okay. Oh, Pixel Rabbit. That was uh, quite a while back then. Hey, Zutin, welcome back. Hey, Amir. Hello, sir. Killer said, no, I'm not gonna. War correspondent is, is a waste of time. I, if I would be professionally made I would have restarted and it wouldn't be the way it is it's it's just like beating the dead horse right like just just leave it it's not gonna be better unless I restart again and then who cares you know uh, concept Sam well first of all you need to join discord I tried to find you yesterday concept Sam um, but I couldn't see you online but uh, I know that you posted uh, so make sure you're online uh, after the stream, and so I can see you on the list because offline are people they they plop off the list, you know, and then they pop up when they are online. But I'll 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 make sure to do it, and I'll also tag you as a subscriber in the Discord, you know, a special category. Hey Quentin, Bjork, Algani. So what I will be doing now. Uh, for the future is I, I will do um, monsters because I want to prepare for I'm going to be doing a demo at the industry workshops this year um, so I want to I just want to kind of play around with monsters and, and kind of be be ready in so to speak for doing demos um, so I just want to be doing concepts of monsters uh, maybe not every day but I will be ex experimenting with it. Um, the process, right? How to get something done in a nice way. No, you're not supposed to do anything, Concept Sam. I will, I will take care of it when I see you on Discord. Hey, Morphia. Happy Friday. Yay, yay, yay. All right, so let's start the, the timer. Um, I want to come up with a way... Um, that we can incorporate um, you guys. Um, so, whatever idea you have about topics, like how we can get the topics done, um, that will be cool. I'll sh I can show you. Shape in the dark. Yeah. So, it's a, it's a cool 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 idea. Um, so today I will be just drawing a monster, right? So I started playing around with a lights only sketching technique and like how, how to make that efficient. And I figured out like for concepts, 
uh, and illustrations. They're two different. Uh, it's two different beasts, right? So if you do the lights only approach, um, you'll get um, you'll get a result like this, right? And that's way more illustration orientated. So I was playing around with it, um, and uh, I was coming up with an idea like because it has to be concept and more thumbnail like. I should combine the two approaches. So I was playing around with it this morning and it, and it became really um, like really efficient. Um, so that's something I want to experiment with and and see um, I want to um, I want to keep doing this technique but I also want to incorporate a process where, um, for the demo at industry workshops, uh, to go full-blown illustration uh, or or painted concept, right? But I think I think this version of how to approach it with lights only, like you begin with lights only to to try to capture the idea, and then you you meet it on the opposite side with with uh, the shadow. And in that way, you're not going to have the illustration base that the, the normal lights only technique gives you. But uh, now you'll be able to to make it more of a thumbnail or a concept, you know, and have it as a standalone thing. Because now I can move it around, and, and it's defined. It's not vague, you know, like coming out of shadows. Um, so by by doing it this way you're going to I'm going to get the best of both worlds like right? because I can meet in the middle with the grays and I uh, and I started the concept with the whites so I started defining volume and it takes a little bit of practice you know like to get to get to that point where you can just create in this technique uh, but I thought um I should I should explore um, I should explore it up to uh, August because in a month, I think, yeah, it's one month left, a little bit less than a month left until the workshop starts. And I will be doing a demo at the workshop. So I want to, I want to, um, I want to show something cool for the people who, who come and look and not just, oh, look at me, I'm doing the, the generic uh, monster approach. You know, so I, I think I'll uh, I'll play around with this technique, you know, of, of seeing like how can we get something down, uh, cool and interesting in a form of a demo. Because I don't know how long you you will be having, but the fact that I'll, for example, I can get something done rather fast over the years now of doing these daily warm-ups. Um, I think it would be a nice touch to to come up with a technique that's even more solidified um, to showcase, you know. Because I can switch styles and uh, I don't want to... I want to show uh, some, some interesting technique, you know, as well as, as a pretty picture. So I think maybe possibly doing it this way could be a, could be a cool thing for people to look at, you know. But what what I want to experiment with, like I said, is uh, going from this stage to to color and uh, play around with ideas. Um, um, like how can at what point should I add color? Um, in what way should I add color? Should I do it like I do it on lights only, where I I like do a color burn on top, or should I do overlay? That's ugly. Hmm, I don't know. The workshop it's in London. Uh, Amir, I don't know how long the demo will be. Usually you get like a couple, an hour or two, or something like that, or the whole half a day. 
it depends on what I guess what you uh, what you ask them for. Uh, I actually don't know, but they have a lots of demo artists, and I think possibly more than one time slot. I haven't been there uh, in that workshop for over for two years now, so I don't know how if and how they've changed the the setup. I was there the first two or three. No, first two, and then the last two I haven't. And no, this is number five, I think. I was for the la first three, and missed the last two. And no, <laughs> pinned the first two, missed two, and now the fifth. Um, I'm going to be at. The topic today, the topic is random today, um, but uh, if you guys have any ideas of, well, it's monster. Let's say the topic is definitely monster, um, but it, it that there is not a specific topic for the monster, uh, but it's monster. It's going to be monster, maybe not every day, um, but it's going to be many monsters. Uh, because that's what I'm going to be demoing at the workshop. So I want to, you know, prepare. Algani. All right. We could try that. We could try that. Let's 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 uh, let's check at the halfway point, uh, and I'll try to squeeze in details to the halfway point, and then at the halfway point, um, I'll start adding colors. Uh, but at the halfway point, when I am about to start, I'm gonna try to formulate a plan for attack. You know, like, okay, I'm gonna do like you said, oh god, like overlay and soft light uh, to see what that does with it, um, or or at least no, or my, mm, yeah, okay, <laughs> let's experiment. Let's experiment. Um, uh, of course, some tickets are still available for sure. Hey, Zilin, how's it going? So much monsters. Uh, that is uh, that's one freaky guy. Digging the face, really freaky face. Uh, FS bro. So five more minutes uh, of detailing, I will be at the halfway point. Um, then, uh, then I'll I'll try colors and see um, where that takes me. But I think what's important with all of these things when you just draw something randomly is. Uh, even though it's random, I've noticed that trying to, like in all these warm-ups, having a picture in your head of what you're actually trying to do, like, okay, this is a bone monster, or an uh, alien that eats fruit, or, uh, you know, just something that helps you push it into a direction other than just, oh, random, random shapes, random generic, uh, you know, whatever. But just having a direction helps. So to uh, Monday, we could try um, maybe we could I could ask for an animal, and whatever that animal is, I'll try to extract a trait from that animal. You know, like teeth or biting or hunter or agile or whatever, and I'll try to make a monster out of it. I think, how does that sound like an interesting challenge? Like I ask for an animal, 
and then I, and and you guys suggest I'll pick an animal, and then I'll I'll try my best to extract uh, like the essence of the animal as I see fit into a creature. I think that could be interesting. Is unicorn an animal? Yes, it is. It's a, a, a non-existent existing animal. Uh, it's a fairy tale animal, but uh, yeah. I mean, fairy tale animals uh, should be fine as well as topic. You know, like a, a Pan or whatever his name was, the the half man, half um, goat, panda, shark monster. Lurib, yeah, yeah, I mean monsters and creatures, but I'm gonna do demo of, of monsters uh, So I, I definitely I want to practice Some of you know a lot of that But on the road to the demo we can definitely explore the idea of just doing more creatures as well um, I mean monsters tend to be the horror aspects of creatures, right? We could definitely go more towards cre uh, creatures as well. I, I don't see any issues with uh, being less of a monster and more of a creature. It should be the same approach, same direction. Uh, Morphia, yeah, we could. Yeah, for sure. No problem. FS bro, yeah. It's, I need to, but you know, I said um, I'll do it when I have time. And there's been a long period of uh, this half this year of lots of lots of work. I'm at the end of all this work. I only have one um, one more thing to help with, and. Um, it looks like I will be completely free for the rest of the year. Um, and I don't think I want to take on anything more. So it looks like I will finally have uh, time to do the um, character lecture now. But it's going to be, it's going to have to be the outdated, outdated version. It's not going to be like up to date. I will not, uh, you know, redo it. Uh, it'll be the old version, uh, but I'll I'll try to uh, adjust it slightly. But I'm I'm not gonna have time to like fully redo the character lecture. I'll run through the old one, and I'll like amend with uh, with thoughts. Eric Ricky. Uh, <coughs> The the idea of the creature is that, uh, or this uh, monster, it it it's um, has weird fingers, weird hands. It holds a stick, like a club, uh, and it has multiple arms, and it's just a you know like a weird creature. And it has uh, these pointy things in in in, in its. Uh, from coming out of the body, you know. Just as some sort of rhythm changer, like a pattern, you know, to imitate the ribs on the body. Yeah, the T-shapes are actually part of the body. It's actually arms, right? Um, Yeah, so that's that's fifteen minute mark. Um, it, uh, this technique I found to work quite well um, to get something down concept wise. Uh, when you merged um, pay, uh, light only with uh, shadows, like you forced them meeting them in the middle, it worked really well to capture general volume quickly. 
so that's something I, I really enjoyed doing uh, this morning and I will try to um, get uh, get it down okay so color I think I'll go with uh, egg like egg yellow and then towards the end of the limbs maybe red um, or like a brown and then um, uh, some some color some sort of accent in there pix pix shape yeah definitely or climbing that's what i was thinking as well you know like they can like a spider like move smoothly over surfaces that's what's kind of going sickle and hammer <laughs> that's funny Uh, Zutin, no, I, what I meant is um, I'm going to be free to do the character lecture because I'm always quite busy, right? That's why the character lecture hasn't happened because I haven't had time uh, to prepare for it. So now um, that I uh, most likely not going to take on uh, more work, uh, extra work, other than uh, my day, day job, obviously. Um, I feel like I've done enough freelance for the year. Uh, I'll, um, I will have time to do the character lecture, which is great, you know, because I want to do it. I, I, I promised it, and also I want to do it for you guys, you know, some cool content. Um, so it seems like it's going to happen soon. Mm. Yeah, I drink coffee. Yeah, the T-shapes are at the kind of like at the elbows. I closed my office door and I'm melting in here. I gotta do something tomorrow about that when I'm streaming. Wade uh, Modig Modignar. <laughs> yeah, oh, is it that uh, four armed uh, Jedi thing, monster? It's true. Amir. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Could do that. Um, suggest that on Monday. The cloak is missing. <laughs> yeah. What's his name? General Grievous? Is that the... So for, for a 20 minute drawing we've gotten some some stuff quite down quite fast you know it's it's a really a pleasure to do stuff let's see what happens if i merge oh that's not good then screw screw have everything in a group just just paint on top I was hoping that I would be able to, um, you know, have everything in one layer, but it doesn't matter. I, I want to figure out a way to do that, though. At what point should I merge? What point should I keep them separated? Um, I think with this, if I would do, let's see, if I would do this, it would still work. If I would do there, it breaks there. So if I do that, uh, all right, it's okay.
<laughs> I'm here, yeah. Soft light and overlay. I don't know, Algan, it worked pretty well. Yeah, I mean, you can copy copy it out as well, for sure. Copy merged. But now, like, when, I, when I'm doing now with colors, it just becomes like you're redoing a lot of work all the time, like, mushing around. Like, that's one thing I want to, with these um, practices now, up to the demo, I want to figure out a way where I will be a lot more confident in, um, in what I'm doing so that... Um, or more confident in the approach, not what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I am confident in my abilities. But what I mean is, um, like, when you do a lot of color work, you got to have to, um, you know, make it right by, by uh, having a specific process so the colors feel right, so it's just not boring gradients, right? So I want to practice at what point should you start adding uh, complexity to the value range and what point should you just paint um, and uh, like now I'm controlling like where the colors and hues are shifting which for me is like a, it's like a waste of time to a degree because it's not important what's important is to get the concept down right so that's something I want to I want to fiddle with uh, coming month like how can we make that process smoother so that we get the complexity of the gradient the hue shifts uh, as much for free without having to worry about uh, losing time on rendering because if it's just grayscale all you need to worry about is value right only thing is how you read it right um, a frame sign. I use um, a Cintiq um, 24 HD. So it's uh, as you can see, um, or it's quite big. But it's what I love. I love the size of it and seeing the, what I need to paint. Uh, Sharta, yeah, definitely insectoid. Um, and Geiger-esque um, it took that turn I think quite fast when I started defining those arms um, out of random obviously I didn't have a goal I was just playing with the lights hey Bruno Romanos how's it going? Thank you very much. Here's some gang signs. Oy! Booms. Goddamn gang signs. Eric Eric. <laughs> Man, the war war correspondent. Bane of my existence. I hate it. This kinda looks cool. It looks like the lower legs are, are transparent. That was that's a nice little touch. That's like makes it freaky, right? So let's Let's try to nail that that feeling that the legs there are like veiny and, and translucent so we can see Yeah that's 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 pretty freaky. Let's let's keep that. That's a cool a cool feeling of them. Nasty. I like it. <laughs> Girls of Sam. But yeah, man. God damn. War correspondent. Madness. Funny. Funny. It is what it is. They're not all not home runs, these warm ups. I, I'm not mad. It's all good. It's all good. It's a part of the beast. You know, it's the nature of the beast learning curve
<laughs> I am Bjorn's Rage. Uh, what's that um, Fight Club line? I am Jack's lack of empathy. I am uh, I am Jack's rage, or whatever the, that line is. I love that line. I am Bjorn's Rage incarnate. <laughs> I'm war correspondent incarnate. <laughs> For I, I think I think this process um, worked really well. I'm I'm happy that I kind of clicked a little bit more um, so what I want to do moving forward is your participation in creature of course like random topic so I can fully and truly be be challenged um, so it's not, just not comfort zone uh, creatures but uh, we're actually exploring fully here um, But, uh, yeah, I really dig in this, and I think timing it and, and kind of trying to figure out at what point should we move on to the next stage, I think is a really useful thing because you're not worrying so much about the finer details, you're just trying to worry about the big picture aspect. Oh, I'm melting in here. Ugh. The heat is ridiculous. God damn it. Tomorrow I'm like, hopefully can open a window and you guys won't hear the traffic outside because, or just telling my son to go outside. Because I'm, I'm dying in here. I kind of don't like those those decisions there I made, but I can't change it now. Should um, I need to change the the amount of white on this club? Ah. I mean, maybe that's my demo. Everyone like has to have yoga pants on and sit and go oh Manifest your inner anger <laughs> with this once in a lifetime bundle of uh, brushes, Photoshop brushes, and layered PSD. Only nine ninety nine. <clears throat> Lurib, I don't know how long I'm gonna get, but I mean, with this, with this process, thirty minutes would definitely be enough. Uh, to do a demo, uh, but the, the the idea is like if if I have two hours and I can get this that much done in half an hour, the question is should I do multiple concepts or just take one to finish, and to what degree should I take it to finish? Um, so that's something I also want to experiment with, um, and and discuss with you guys uh, on Monday most likely because time is up. <laughs> yeah, I caught some sap. <laughs> Thank you, Lurip. Thank you. And then, to top it all off, top light. Will it work or will it break? Well, it kind of works. I kind of like it. It doesn't break the image. I wonder if we, if we can 
adopt this new and then we just do a li little bit like this do it sneaky sneaky and then we go oh yeah cheating Eric yeah exactly um, I think it best would take it further right but I want to experiment with process so that is it one hour concepting and one hour painting or do I have two hours one hour you know I gotta check a little bit but I'm gonna experiment with it with you guys so we go together yeah the rib the arms are a little bit weird but whatever it's just a sketch <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give a man a, f a fish and he will f eat for the day, uh, teach a man how to fish and he'll feed himself for life, right? Um, brush pack is like giving you a fish. That's true, Eric. Yeah, like you process like seeing the sketch build up and then uh, from sketch to finish. Yeah, exactly. I think I think so. All right. Let's um. Let's see. Who's okay? She's doing that. That's not interesting to me. That's pretty. Mm. Oh, I can show you guys. This is. didn't tickle my fancy so let's see what creative has to offer a mouth uh, a wet mouth oh surprise titsinas oh oh i wonder i wonder what's on offer oh titsinas oh amazing oh titsinas there's me oh yeah oh yeah there's that, that there's the bong guy he like water pipe constantly it doesn't look that interesting or let's look. Should we raid this guy constantly? I don't know. I I, I didn't find him, him him talking that interesting. Um, who to raid? Spider Man. Ah, this looks a bit washed out. What's this? This looks cool. Let's ra raid this person. Let's raid. What was it? I whack? Weird nickname. Nah, Snake Eater wasn't that interesting today. Thank you, Japomo. Uh, see you guys on uh, Monday morning. Or in the weekend, we'll see. But Monday for sure. Um, where we'll do more monsters and experiment more with techniques. Um, so let's see what this IWAC is doing. It looked like some pretty cool, interesting uh, environment stuff for a change, you know, Mo not monsters. Bye.